Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some new and interesting Blender add-ons, in addition to some updates too. Add-ons for creating painterly tree and foliage, UV editing, 3 decals, rendering, and much more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Shapescape Studio. This add-on is actually great, and it is for creating stylized trees and plants with a hand-painted and non-realistic look. Well, it is essentially an MPR tree generator that lets you use your own mesh shapes and hand-painted texture sheets to grow one-of-a-kind painterly trees, bushes, and grass, which you can use in different environments. The toolkit comes packed with 100 plus ready-to-use plant models, in addition to endless shader variations, including seasonal color presets, and even built-in wind animation, so your trees can sway naturally in the breeze, which to be honest, in this moment of time, is kind of a requirement, and as you might expect, everything is procedural and node-based, making it entirely non-destructive, you know. This also means you can tweak the generated shapes, swap out textures, adjust color gradients, or toggle the wind effects, and you can do that at any time without rebuilding your assets from scratch. And I can see this used to create beautiful stylized foliage that matches your artistic style. You can use it for concept art, stylized animations, and so on rather than using just another static asset library. On the other hand, UV Deformer is a handy tool for tweaking UV maps with lattice deformers. You see, instead of painstakingly moving the UV vertices one by one, this add-on lets you wrap and adjust your UV layout using simple lattice grids, and you can do that directly in Blender's UV editor. And it makes it way easier to fix texture distortions or achieve a precise UV layout, and it supports multiple lattice instances per mesh, so you can apply separate deformations to different areas, which is great for layered UV adjustments. You also got an interactive wrap mode to drag lattice control points in real time. I mean, the ability to multi-select points and move them together, and you can even customize the lattice display colors, and you can do that in the add-on preferences to suit your needs, because there are different situations and use cases. Now, when it comes to free add-ons, I will tell you about Lazy Decals, which is basically a decal library that makes adding surface details to your 3D models kind of super simple. You know, like the other add-ons we've seen on this channel before. You just pick a decal from its pre-made collection and click where you want it to be, and the add-on automatically projects and blends it onto the model, so you don't have to fuss with manual UV unwrapping or even complex node setups to get things like sticker or rust onto your mesh. It is great for quickly adding details like scratches, grunge, signage, logos, and other decals with realistic wear and tear, and the decals conform to the underlying surface, snapping in place, and it includes built-in grunge and wear masks to help them look naturally integrated with the model's material. So, if you want to reduce the time and effort required for detailing 3D models for free, I think this add-on is going to be at least a good start. Now, I want to talk about Render Raw, which basically gives Blender a built-in color gradient suite. So, instead of exporting to another program, this add-on provides easy sliders right inside Blender, with things like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, etc. It is great for making your renders pop with vibrant colors. In addition, it adds fun camera effects, like less distortion, dispersion, vignetting, glare, film grain, and so on, so you can get a cinematic look without the extra hassle. And by the way, this add-on isn't new, but the topic of this video is the update. Since it has been updated to fully support ACES, custom OCIO configurations, HDR displays, and wide gamut working spaces. The next version of Render Raw also lets you link camera to the layer, so it is only active when the camera is active, offering even more flexibility compared to traditional poor camera settings. Now we're gonna talk about Turbo Tools X which is kind of a booster for rendering in Blender 5. It includes a Turbo Render feature, which automates the pro-quality render setup with advanced denoising, letting you use fewer samples while still retaining the final details that standard denoisers would blur out. There is also a Templar stabilizer to remove flicker from animations, which means no more manually cranking render times for the axe just to fix flicker in frames. And there is also a publishing tool that lets you export multiple composited variations of your render without needing to re-render 3D scenes each time. Basically, it will help you improve the rendering and compositing workflow 
with some smart tools and tricks. There is another interesting add-on too. True Image Editor basically turns Blender's Image Editor into a mini Photoshop-like workspace. Or you can put it like this. The add-on lets you stack and blend layers, paint masks, adjust colors, crop and tile images, and add text. And then bake everything into a final image. And by the way, you can do all of that directly inside Blender's Image Editor. It is lightweight and integrated into Blender's end panel even allowing you to have multiple editing projects in one blend file. This is great for trying out variations or keeping concept iterations organized. The layer-based editing approach gives it a familiar like Photoshop style. I mean, at least when it comes to the experience. You can render and rename layers and use masks, gradients, and transparency per layer to refine your composite. In essence, the add-on brings a full image editing toolset, which you can use for complex texture touch-ups or maybe compositing without going to external software such as Substance. Next, we have two in one kind of deal Auto Remesh Now, in addition to Mora Mesh, which is a bundle of two remeshing add ons that together form an auto retopology toolkit. And between them, you've got five different remesh algorithms for converting messy geometry, you know, like sculpted models, 3D scans, or CAD imports full of triangles. And you can convert them into clean quad based meshes. Auto Remesh Now is fast and reliable. You can use it for quick sculpt to quad conversions, cleaning up AI generated or scanned meshes, or doing fast decimations or repairs with minimal tweaking. Mora Mesh, on the other hand, is kind of a specialist because it packs four distinct, research grade algorithms that excels where others fail, which I think gives you a lot of control, and in turn helps you achieve a great quad flow, and the ability to adjust with topology density, especially for tricky cases. Another new add-on is called Dynamic Lines. Dynamic Lines is a tool for quickly creating panel lines on your models using a non-destructive modifier-based workflow. So you basically draw some guidelines on your mesh, choose a mode, either sharp or v-group, and the add-on will generate panel separations with beveled edges along those lines automatically. The sharp mode is a simple one-step approach. You mark the edge as sharp, and it instantly creates a nice panel line cut with a bevel. The V-Group model is more advanced, allowing you to define plates and panels with small gaps between them using vertex groups, which is useful for more complex and multi-part paneling. Best of all, the workflow is non-destructive, which means you can always edit or move the original guidelines after the fact, and the panel cuts will update accordingly since it is all driven by modifiers. This means you can tweak your sci-fi plates or maybe machinery panels, and you can do that on the fly until it looks right. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Payload. Payload is a new material manager add-on, which takes the headaches out of managing materials in Blender, which is a problem sometimes. But how does it do that exactly? Well, it adds handy features like one-click material assignment, so you can apply a material to all selected objects or even specific faces in the edit mode with a single click. It also lets you organize materials into custom categories, you know, for a better overview and it can quickly sort through material inventory to find what you need. With this add-on, cleaning up a scene is much easier too, simply because you can remove materials from all selected objects in one go, delete and use materials to keep your file tidy, or even have the nuke option to wipe out all the material data blocks if you need to start fresh. There is even a quick toggle for triplanar mapping versus UV mapping, something that used to require a tedious manual node setup which is now just a one-click switch in Payload. Generally speaking, this add-on can be really efficient for texturing, especially if you want to be more efficient. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.